What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment down below of what do you think of this video. Yeah, so last week Sonic Frontiers The Final Horizon came out. It recently came out and yeah, I forgot to like do what it's about but I complete the full game. I just haven't introduced you guys to like the gameplay of AV, Knuckles and Tails and Super Sonic 2. Yeah, so we're gonna get into that right now. And before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and leave a comment down below of what do you think of Sonic Frontiers The Final Horizon, aka Update 3 for Sonic Frontiers. Anyway, let's get started. All right, we're starting off with Amy Rose. All right, look at her go. All right. Okay, yeah, you can use her fortune cards to hit enemies or hit items or hit like any 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 object so here's she going she's going oh man okay and yeah once you she can actually triple jump with her fortune cards and once you triple jump you can actually hold the jump button for her to glide with the fortune card so yeah so this looks pretty amazing this is amazing yeah i i think i'm gonna have to give amy's gameplay a I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 because you can use her to triple jump. So, yeah. Take. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Alright. So, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Once you triple jump, you can glide with the 4G card spinning around her. So, this looks pretty cool. I don't even know if you can play as the characters without being. Let them being ghosts. So, yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Yeah, I went crazy once this DLC came out at 5 p.m. Yeah, and you can run. You could run around the island. Man, this is incredible. This looks pretty incredible. Yeah, this is amazing. This, I know, but I have a feeling that the game kind of sucks because it kind of feels unfinished according to like some viewers who viewed Sonic Frontiers, but I think it looks sick to me. Yeah. Okay, this looks amazing. I'm pretty, pretty curious of why they didn't use Amy's Pico Hammer, Pico Pico Hammer to attack enemies. They just used the fortune cards to hit enemies. But this is okay. You know you can use her Pico Pico Hammer as a parry attack. Yeah, let me just hit these buttons. And let's go on this jump pad. And let's glide. And let's hit this other... Oh, more, more buttons. Alright, so let's go on here. Alright, let's go into this loop. Okay, and yeah, you can actually use these red walls to climb as Knuckles. We're gonna get into that next. So yeah, this looks pretty amazing. I really like the movement on her. Yeah, so I actually haven't unlocked any attack abilities for her yet, but I am working on it. So yeah. Yeah, I, I actually really like Amy's gameplay because you can basically just triple jump, like I said. And yeah. I know, I know this is pretty cool. And just to let you know, just like Sonic, you could use Amy, Knuckles, and Tails to do the side loop, and you could do the spin dash too, not just Sonic. So yeah, we've got a seed. Man, I like gliding in the air. Okay, ground pound. Yeah, when you ground power as Amy, she releases her fortune cards. Oh so, yeah, we've got another lookout Coco. This looks pretty amazing. This is what you need to do. This is what you need First of all, to play as Sonic and to climb the towers. So yeah, that's what you basically need. You need those to activate the towers to climb up. So yeah, this is pretty amazing. And yeah, I really like, even though people don't really like this game so much, I think it looks amazing. The worst Sonic game out of all of these looks kind of like Sonic Boom because of the, of, the, of the movements. And yeah, it looks pretty unfinished and kind of glitches in the game. But... So we're gonna be uh, doing, we're gonna be playing as Knuckles in like a few minutes. I just want to show you guys a quick gameplay. So yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah, this looks cool. So let's move on to Knuckles. All right, and right here we are playing as Knuckles the Echidna. Yeah, look at him glide. Yeah, this looks pretty amazing of how they made Knuckles glide, like as usually. Yeah, this has to be my like my favorite movement out out of all the abilities of Knuckles. Yeah, this looks pretty pretty amazing. Royal Commission Molo did a good job and he definitely knows what he's doing directing this game. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get a lot of skill points because we want to unlock new abilities. So let's check the map and let's see. Yeah, so Knuckles looks cool. So just to let you know, Knuck you can actually spin dash as Knuckles as well, like I said while I was playing Amy. So right here you can just dash, you can dash, and yeah. And if you 
if you play as any other characters, if you want to get skill points, you have to go to these areas right here that matches their colors. So like red matches with knuckles, so you'll be able to get more skill points from there. And if you go to an area that has pink, it's basically Amy, and yellow is tail. So yeah, we've got another lookout Coco for a minute ago. And yeah, well, I mean a second ago. And let's get another skill point. Alright? And we have not we have like not unlocked any anything yet. But there is another skill point right here. Look at this right here. So we have to climb that. Like I said, you can use these red walls to climb as knuckles only knuckles. Okay, more skill points. Alright, let's see. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got 38 skill points so far. So yeah, you see this right here, the sign, the chest, that the chest, the chest, the chest right there, the one in purple, well the only one in purple, you can only use the purple ones to use like a special side attack so far, but anyway, right here we, I am, I just did the side knuckles, so yeah, I did the side knuckles right there, yeah, so what you have to do, all you have to do is just press triangle, I'm playing PlayStation 5 right now, all you have to do is just press triangle, to use the side knuckles right there. You can either do X square. Well, no, no, sorry. X triangle to do it or just triangle if you're on the ground. And yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Now, you can actually use to fight enemies while knuckles is punching because this ability looks cool so far. I'm not showing you guys right now. I'm just climbing these. This looks pretty amazing. Yeah, I think my favorite character out of Amy Tails Knuckles has to be a Knuckles because I really like how he fights. I really like the move. I really like how he glides especially. Look at him go. Yeah, I'm just like having trouble climbing because this looks kind of hard. I'm trying to like get some like, I don't know, like skill points because I think there is skill points up there. But yeah, this looks, it kind of looks pretty, pretty chaotic, but yeah. Uh, once you get a hang of Knuckles, you'll be fine. So yeah, this, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say else, but this looks pretty cool. We got like two seeds, wait, we got, yeah, we got two seeds. And yeah, it's just like get pretty annoying when you're like doing these obstacles and you just have to keep gliding every time you fall off just to get back on the obstacle course. So yeah, what you gotta do is you gotta use the red walls just to climb as knuckles yeah you see what i'm doing but you'll sometimes slip off once you get on there but if you don't you're basically fine in a safe place so yeah what you've got to do is you gotta get some skill points so you can get more abilities for knuckles amy and tail so yeah you can actually still play a sonic but to play and if you want to switch the characters you have to go to one of the towers that you'll be able to do the final battle with Super Sonic 2 and then it'll give, ask you the ability to switch as characters. So yeah, this looks pretty annoying right now. Like I'm still trying to solve the obstacle, but we're gonna switch it to Tails in a moment so I can show you his gameplay, so yeah. All right, we're gonna switch to Tails in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so here is Tails and yeah, when you run, when you press the run button, he actually uses Tails to run and yeah the coolest thing that i like is tails is iconic to tails you can have the ability to fly all around the island but here's a thing his fly limit has like a short amount of time it's not gonna last forever you see tails this fly is like probably gonna last for like 15 seconds well 20 or 15 seconds this is probably everybody's character that they want to play the most because tails is pretty popular and yeah this guy looks pretty cool and you know you can do you can actually press r2 standing there just press r2 and tails will be able to ride his cyclone from the sonic adventure series which is known to be the sonic dreamcast series so yeah you'll actually want to use every skill point you wanted to like find every coco that represents the character's color to unlock skill points right here so this will require skill points if you wanted to use it because this looks pretty cool my like favorite move so far has to be the cyclone and yeah you see these skill points you will have to use it to get a new ability once you see the exclamation part on the bottom right corner of the number of how much you'll unlock a skill point for real so yeah, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, Tails looks pretty, pretty awesome. Ride of the Cyclone. That has to be my favorite move so far. Okay, for the final best part, I am going to be showing you guys Super Sonic 2, which is the final battle of this new story mode. So let's get into that. Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press attack, hit R1, and I'm going to take off this 
the connection thing, whatever it is, with the side lead. And yeah, after you get hit by the side energy like a few times, this is the how you unlock Super Sonic 2. You'll actually unlock it right away. It's super easy. Once you get hit a couple of times with the cyber energy, you'll be able to access Super Sonic 2. So here we go. Oh, this is my favorite part. Oh man, look at that. Bro, that looks amazing. Bro, this is so awesome. You see that? Three, two, one. Boom, there you go. Super Sonic 2. That's the official name for Super Sonic's new form. So yeah, that is how you get Super Sonic 2. Well, actually, you won't be, it's not how to unlock it, but it's easy to unlock it. It's pretty simple how to use Super Sonic 2. So yeah, that is basically it for Sonic Frontiers The Final Horizon.